bedroom. Good evening. It's the Fitlo Fitness Chat. Hi, I'm Trisha Olson, founder of Fitlo Denver, and we are here with Lynn Coves. Did I say your last name, by yep. the way? Coves. Mm -hmm. Lynn Coves, the founder of Unlimited Yoga. Yep. Do you know what the Unlimited Yoga is? It's a pretty awesome website, and it's all about free and donation-based yoga in Denver. Mm-hmm. Denver and Boulder. Yeah. And um, you've made, you've created this because um, that's just a passion of yours and you want to help people learn about all the different options that there are and support those communities to provide it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, of course, talk more with Lynn about that. Hi, Laura. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, and Fitlow, by the way, if you don't know, Fitlow is the lowdown on where to get fit in Denver. Do you have a, do you have a tagline, Lynn? Do you have like a... Um, a shtick not exactly. Yeah. More just about like information on a you know free donation okay. in Denver Boulder. But okay. yeah, not so much a tagline. Maybe you, maybe something to work on. Hi Kathy. <laughs> hi Mike. Would you take suggestions this evening? Totally. Okay. So if Absolutely. you have any taglines for unlimited yoga tonight, as we we chat, um, throw them up on there. Yeah. Along with any other questions that you may That's have. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get you one tonight. Cool. I want to hear them. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, Laura, thank you. Yeah, so Unlimited Yoga is awesome. Laura is uh, from Stable Tome, and I know you work with them a lot as well, right? Yeah, a little bit. Thanks, yeah. Laura. This mo moment is as it should be. That's right, Kathy. That's a good yoga. That's There you go, Unlimited Yoga. There's your tagline. Oh, this like moment it. is as it, it should, should be. be. Nice. Yeah, we like that one. Very present. Very it like is. in the moment. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Paul. Thanks for joining. That's my hubs. Oh. <laughs> um, is, uh, That's yeah, yeah. So everyone who's watching so far, if you're watching and you're up for it, please share this. Um, that helps everyone. It helps us out. Um, the more you share, the more you care. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of had to throw it out there. I just couldn't help yeah. myself. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the lowdown on some upcoming events. Since you are all about sharing with people free and donation-based yoga in Denver, I was going to put a little emphasis on that this, this uh, tonight. Um, so I'm going to talk about some things that are on the Fitlow Denver calendar. So at fitlowdenver.com, we have a calendar, and um, we have ongoing events. Some are free, some are not, but um, you can get that. And then Unlimited Yoga with Lynn, you have an email that people can subscribe to where you mm -hmm. like have like serious slowdown on all the free yoga stuff going on, right? I send to people an email every Sunday all okay. the free and donation-based classes in Denver. There's a Denver list, and then I send a Boulder list as well. Okay, that's awesome. So you go to unlimitedyoga.com, yep. and you'll be able to subscri subscribe to that email. Um, free yoga and wine at Prana on Wednesday nights. Yes, we were there. That's sure. where we reconnected. Yeah, and we set wine up down this Wednesday. Day. We were, a couple weeks ago, we were at Wine Down Wednesday at Prana, and... Um, yeah. Are you are you teaching? Are they? Are you guys teaching right now? Are yeah, you I think we just missed joining it. our Facebook Live <laughs> while the class is on? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. How are you? Thanks for joining. Christina's on as well. So many awesome yogis on with us. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Um, so let me. Um, yeah. So tonight, Wednesday night, is Wine Down Wednesday. That's one of the um, mm -hmm. great events. It's free, and you get wine afterwards. Yeah, and cheese. Yeah, I think we had guacamole a couple weeks ago. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and you always meet, I always meet people there, like always meet mm -hmm. new people. So it's a great place to network as well. Um, also, we have, um, let's see here, on Saturday, this isn't yoga, but this is free. The Daily Method is doing, the Daily Method Denver is a bar studio, and they're doing free classes all day long and free childcare. So I thought that'd be a Damn. great one. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, hi, Monica. Or, I mean, Monica. <laughs> Hey, Chicas. Hey. Uh -huh. um, also, and Mike was on here. Um, hi, Christina. Hi. Um, this isn't necessarily free, but it is definitely community-oriented. LFT, our studio, featured studio partner of the week, they are a gym. Definitely fitness, like lifting and, and high-intensity um, training. They're doing a community throwdown on Saturday that is open to everybody. And um, it's actually just a 10-minute workout. The whole event is like three hours long, but they're doing rounds of 10-minute workouts with partners. Um, if you want to do the workout, it's open to everyone. It's, it's $10. Mike, correct me if I'm wrong. You can um, sign up for that. I have that all over our website since they're our featured partner this week. It's on the Fitlow calendar. 
or you can just come and hang out because there's local local vendors um, out in the fitness community working out. It's just a fun event, lots of fun music. LFC crew, they're like a party party all the time while you're working out. So cool. we're going to be there. Fitless going to be there Saturday 9 to noon. So you can come check that out as well. Maybe, nice. you, maybe you'd like it, Lynn. It'd be totally yeah. different from your yoga world. Yeah, I'm sure it but would. still like fun community stuff. What neighborhood or where? It's in Littleton. It? Okay. Yeah, so it's... You're more usually, you know, city how much. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, it's out in Littleton. Um, okay, so now I'm just looking at the comment, like, did I miss anything? All right, then also um, on Sunday is the Free Fit Fit Local. So that's a monthly mm-hmm. event that happens. Have you been to that one yet? No. Okay, Sammy's the, Sammy, um, from, she teaches at Endorphin and at the River. She does yoga. And then um, John Surf, he's the owner of um, Core Progression. He's the fitness. So it's uh, like a half hour fitness, half hour yoga. And it's with um, the Fitbit. And so there's always like a drawing for free Fitbits and stuff like that. So, so great. It's cool and it's free. And this Sunday it's at the Aveda Institute. Mm. Um, I think it's at nine, but it's on the calendar. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. Monica, I think, might be going. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Nice. Um, I love that they're doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And then um, also Bar 3 is doing a free workout at Iviva Park Meadows. And it's actually not just bar. Bar 3 actually means bar, Pilates, and yoga. So it's like a fusion. Mm. Yeah, and that's, that. and that's out south as well. Cool. Um, and then Monday is the Cheer Flow with Chi Flow. Seven, oh, yeah. seven, eight, thirty. I learned that from you. I was on Lynn's uh, or on Unlimited Yoga's Facebook, just doing my homework, <laughs> and I saw that you posted it. So I learned yeah. about it. So that is why Unlimited Yoga follow their Facebook, follow Fit Love's Facebook. I mean, you're going to be covered in terms of like knowing what events are happening mm-hmm. around town. So I think I'm going to totally. try to check that out. It's seven a.m. That's my time. I'm a morning person. It's a little early for you though, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's a super cool event, like yeah. live music, coffee yes. and snacks afterwards, and I think she said it's $10, yeah. but it goes to charity. Yeah, to Urban Peak. Yeah. Like, I can't think of too much better. That's, yeah. like, really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a great way to start your Monday. Totally. Um, so did I miss, and there's Friday Night Yoga Club tomorrow night, too. No, oh, not tomorrow. Friday night, Friday night. Because I said that last time. I'm like, oh, it's tomorrow night. They're like, oh. um, tomorrow's <laughs> Thursday. I'm like, yeah, no, it's Friday Night Yoga Club, so yeah. <laughs> But it's like the, I think the last one that I heard. It is the last season. one of like the season, and then they're starting back up again. And is it February, Christina? Christina is the um, founder of Four C Apparel, and she is a sponsor, so oh, cool. or a partner of um, Friday Night Yoga Club. So I think it's starting back up in February, maybe January, but it's starting back up again. Um, did I miss anything? You, you, I feel like you had a couple others on your list. For this weekend? Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, like, a bunch of classes. Um, one of them coming up this weekend, just kind of top of mind for whatever reason, is at Yoga High. Okay. Their class is uh, donation-based, and all of the donations go towards an uh, organization that um, supports um, relief for, like, animals. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's the Animal Society or yeah. what it is. Yoga but High. Is it, y- yeah. is it spelled H-I or H-I-G-H? H-I-G-H. Okay. So that's going on this weekend. Um, and then I know that Kindness has a couple of classes yes. this weekend. There's one on Saturday at 1.30, one at 5.30 on Sunday. Um, so there's a there's a bunch of classes yeah. coming up. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so thanks to all the hearts, everyone. Only a couple-week break, and then winter season starts through the rest of the two upcoming seasons. Awesome. Yeah, so if you go to Friday Night Yoga, you will see Four Seat Apparel there as well, and they have – Amazing tanks, um, really fun yoga tanks, and hats. I love my I love my own girl hat. Um, so let's. I want to get into some questions for you, Lynn. Okay. We're all kind of like kind of blissed out. We we did do a yoga class and we did shavasana, <laughs> and now we're like there's a long shavasana. We need to wake up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, love the tanks. Yeah, Kathy loves the four C apparel tanks. Um, so. All right, so I'm going to do this new thing. I'm launching it tonight. It's super creative. Not really that creative. It is, uh, we're going to do like five questions. 
five questions for Graham. for Lynn. So she's the founder. Well, actually, again, one more time. Before I get into these questions, I'm sure. going to yoga. We talked a little bit about it, but I, I just want to go back one more time. Like, how did you create it? Like, what what was this moment where you're like, I need to create unlimited yoga? Yeah. So I mean, so unlimited yoga is a community resource for free Indonesian based classes in Denver and Boulder. That's kind of been the crux of like what I've posted about for the last couple of years. And um, I, a couple of years ago, you know, I was going to the community classes at the Core Power Low High location and a couple of others around town. And, you know, I just um, thought it was so cool and thought, you know, I wonder how many other studios have and organizations have, like, free and donation-based classes. And so I decided to do more research, and then I realized how many there actually are. Um, there's about 50 in the Denver area every week and about 20 in the Boulder County area. Wow. So, like, a lot of options, you know. Um, and so I realized that there wasn't, like, one place for them mm -hmm. and that, like, I could create that. Yeah. I could create a resource. That's how it started. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Thanks. So, yeah, it's so cool. Um, so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Okay. Don't look at my notes. Okay. <laughs> So, where, oh, nervous. I know, I know, I'm like, a, I'm nervous too. Yeah. <laughs> where was your first yoga class or yeah. yoga experience? So, my first ever yoga experience was at 24 Hour Fitness mm -hmm. in the Highlands okay. in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, and it was shortly after I moved to Denver about six years ago. Okay. Um, I had never been to a yoga class before and it was just like part of their group, class, mm -hmm. group fitness mm -hmm. that I was like, all right, I guess I'll like join yoga today. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And then you're like, I love 24 it. hour fitness, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the great way to make it. And you know, there's a lot of yoga teachers who teach at yoga studios that teach at 24 hour fitness. Oh. That teach at like, like time. So, um, you know, if you're a member at the gyms, like, we've got great yoga classes as well. Yeah, um, that's a good option. Oh, she, oh, Monica says she likes your logo. Oh, thank you. Do you have a tagline for her? Yeah. We're taking tagline ideas. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I like seriously. Your, I like your water bottle, by the way. Do you have it here? Oh my gosh, thanks. She's got a pretty swank water bottle. Yeah. It's a nice. It's my unlimited yeah. yoga water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Um, all right. So my next one. Who is your yoga idol? Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it's, I have to say that her name is Colleen Saeed Yee. Mm -hmm. Um. I originally saw her on this, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Marie Forleo, she mm -hmm. does, she's like a life and career coach, Okay. And she interviewed her, mm -hmm. and um, she does a lot of stuff with Yoga Journal, but like what I was super drawn to her was she told this story about how like she had written Mother Teresa um, as a child like, t like several times and never heard back, and then when she was like 17, um, someone from... Um, Calcutta like wrote her being like it's your time to come wow. serve wow um and so she just had this kind of amazing story yeah. but um she is someone who like I've just followed and I'm kind of like enamored by yeah. like she has like an amazing story wow so have you um, taken her class no, okay. no, I know she does random things in Boulder, mm -hmm. but um, no, sometime for sure. I've just like, you know, like trolled her Twitter and yeah. Facebook and stuff. <laughs> but she's super cool. Yeah. I am like, I'm like astounded. Yeah, that's great. Kathy asks here, how do you get better at yoga when you don't have time during the class to get special instruction if you are doing it right or wrong? You just yeah. keep practicing, and I think, um, I know Kathy, she's my friend, um, and she likes very, very hands-on, like, correct. She wants to know if she's doing it right or wrong, which some people don't enjoy, like, too much of that, but she wants to know. So I think also, Kathy, it's finding the right teacher. So going to different studios, different communities, checking out Unlimited Yoga and checking out all the different, like, free classes that are out there, you, I think maybe you just need to, to find some more teachers because there are some out there that are going to be more um, technique-oriented than others um, and once you find that magic person you will love them also tell the teacher before class tell them hey I want I want feedback I want assists 
so that they know that they, you want it. Cause sometimes the teacher's not sure like how much someone wants because some people are there for healing or they're, they don't want to be touched, mm -hmm. they don't want to be corrected, that sort of thing. Um, so if you know you want corrections, make sure you tell the teacher. Yeah, and I would also say too, like I completely hear that um, a lot of classes don't really like, you know, they're not like actively teaching you new poses. Um, so like I've just found myself like scoping out you know, really combing through like the schedules at various studios to see like who has some of the advanced classes. Cause like if you go to kind of like your standard vinyasa or whatever, you may not learn something new. But um, yeah, yeah, if you like scope out, scope it out. Like there's definitely like workshops and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, workshops are great ways to learn stuff. Yeah, but I agree with you. It's like kind of hard to learn new things a lot of times. Yeah, sure. All right. This one I thought was fun, but I don't know if it's okay. going to be. Okay. <laughs> um, in this show, you don't have to be, I feel like, uh, oh, new poses, yeah. Right. Um, I feel like you, you can be a little unleashed on the fitness. <laughs> on the fitness okay, chat. permission. Well, yeah, what, okay. is your yoga, what is your, like, yoga class fear? Mm. Do you have, like, a fear? And I know we, in yoga we don't like to talk about fears, but, like, kind okay. of, like, something that you'd be like, oh, I can't believe that happened. You know, I'm definitely, um, even for, even considering that, you know, I've practiced for years and this is, you know, my business and things, like, I'm still, I would consider myself an intermediate yogi. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, I'm still getting comfortable with handstands. Like, Kathy, that, like, handstands is something that I feel like uh, most classes you don't really, like, practice. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say, like, I'm definitely still getting there with, like, handstands. Um, a couple of months ago, I was, like, I was practicing at home, mm -hmm. and uh, I got kind of, like, cocky, mm -hmm. I guess. I was like, I'm not going to use the wall this time, um, and completely flopped and, like, fell on my head. Like, absolutely, like, huge ouch. Yeah. Um, somehow, like, scraped my knees on the way down <laughs> on the wall. Like, just, yeah. so, you know, like, even handstands, I'm, you know, it's something that, like, you know, I'm kind of, like, learning to let go mm -hmm. and, like, push myself with. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'll take it. I'll okay. take it. Okay. Um, okay. Now, this one is another random one. Vegan, yeah. vegetarian, paleo, or pegan? Okay. I kind of love this question. <laughs> um, you know what? I... Or wine, please. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Definitely wine, please. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I... May, some people might call it like a flexitarian. Mm -hmm. Is that an option? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I skew vegetarian, like, m I, kind of one of my things is that, like, I don't buy meat at the grocery store, mm -hmm. um, and I buy groceries every week, mm -hmm. um, but when I'm out, I give myself the option that, like, maybe if the vegetarian option isn't, like, what I want to eat, mm -hmm. then I, I, like, give myself, like, the freedom to pick whatever I want, okay. but I do love, um, and eat a lot of vegetarian meals. Okay, okay, more veg you're okay with dairy? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've got dairy issues. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. I have, I like love cheese. Yeah. I don't know oh. how. I'd how do you do not that. love cheese? Yeah. Um, okay. So this one, I actually was going to have a different question. This is our last question, but I got it. Again, I was, I was trolling your stuff. <laughs> I got this off your Twitter today. Okay. So as we're coming to the end of the year, Mm -hmm. What did you do great this year? What did you learn? And what can you let go of? Oh. She posted that and I thought it was nice. Yeah. What did I do great this year? You know, one thing that I'm really excited about um, is that with Unlimited Yoga is that this year I formalized some partnerships mm -hmm. um, with off the mat Colorado and Project Helping that help people give back to the community. Like, I love that the yoga community does that. And so, and I've been volunteering with off the mat for a while, but like, it was really, I, I'm really just really so stoked that like, it's more of a formal partnership and like, more of a formal, like, you know, every month I tell people about mm -hmm. like service opportunities in the area. Mm -hmm. So, and it's become like a really meaningful part of like what I've what I'm up to. Yeah. Um, so that's been, that was definitely like something that I'm like, look back at 2016 and I'm like, really glad. Yeah. That's um, great. And what was this, what, what, what oh. do I need to? Um, what did you, what have you learned? What have I learned? 
Oh my gosh. You know, I have I hadn't like written down answers to these or like I hadn't like I posted that today. Yeah. And like that's the reflection that I'm like kinda still getting to, but um what have I learned? Um I learned not to like take myself so seriously and that also a lot of things that maybe like are my anxieties are things that like are kind of not worth it and pe other people aren't worried about that like I don't need to be worried about mm -hmm. it's a little bit more of kind of like I just need to like chill out mm -hmm. and like not worry so much that's interesting. I do think probably most people's anxieties if you were to flip it around and be like nobody else cares about your anxiety so then it should yeah. no longer even be an anxiety like whoa yeah. wow wow yeah Thing yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> things that like no one else is even thinking about but like I'm stressing about but like don't need to yeah. I think like I've definitely woke up a little bit that, this mm. year about that's good all right so what what can you let go of you know, I mean, I think that, like, you, I always tend to overestimate how much I can get done in a, mm -hmm. in a, in a period of time. Um, I heard, I can't remember who said this, but, like, oh, I think it was, like, Deepak Chopra that mm -hmm. said, like, oh, no, 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 it was Tony Robbins. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of the, you know, big guys or whatever. But said that, like, people underestimate how much they can get done in a year, but overestimate how much they can get done in like a few, like hours or yeah. days. Yeah, so like, I think that I'm letting go of like maybe what I didn't do this year, mm -hmm. but like, you know, I did my best. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And you did well. Thanks. Yeah. Thank so, you. you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for doing our five questions. They were a little oh, more yeah. than five questions. They were kind of like five questions. The last one had three parts to it. But, oh, well, I um, loved it. No, oh, thanks. Thank you. You did you did a good job. Thank you. No anxieties on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thanks everyone for joining tonight. Um, the fitness chats are changing times a little bit, um, just based on everyone's schedules. So we're trying it out, and I'll let you know every month, uh, every Tuesday ish, what time the Fitlow chance or Fitlow chat is going to be at. And next week we are meeting with the Bold Betties. They're all about helping and empowering women to be bold. Um, and they want to actually meet at noon. So it's going to be, wow, such a different time. So we're going to be on at noon with Bold Betties. And Lynn, thanks so much Thank you. for hanging out. Thank you. And check out unlimitedyoga.com and support her and follow her on the social. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.